We were just able to check back in with our NOAA flight director, Nikki Hathaway. Nikki, I know it's been tough with figuring out going back and forth on the phone, but we have you now. You were just flying on the WP3D Orion N42RF. We also call it Kermit. Tell us what has been the most interesting well, part, of this, part of this mission. Sure, you know, every mission is so different. Um, this one specifically, of course, with it being a major hurricane, the anticipation of getting into the eye and what you're going to see is always something that the crew is very um, interested to see, uh, what type of characteristics of the eye and the eye wall. In this case, we did see that stadium effect inside the eye, some shallow cumulus clouds towards the surface below us and above us blue skies. That was probably the most interesting visual that we got today on flight. Nikki, Nikki, what do you look do for you look when you are flying through a hurricane to figure out if it's strengthening or weakening? Are there certain signs that tell you that one way or another? Sure. You know, there's a lot of things that we look at um, of most importance to us, especially while we're flying, is safety of flight and radar imagery that we're looking at. We have three radars on board our aircraft, and that's what's helping us get through the eye um, and through all the conduction outside the eye even safely. And the organization of these radar characteristics really can tell the story, um, how well organized and well defined that storm is. Besides that, we have other instrumentation on board the aircraft, measuring things like flight level winds, surface um, me measurements for the wind speeds as well. All these things we're looking at to really tell. What do you love, what most, do you love most about your job, Nikki? I mean, I think it's cool. I can't wait to fly with you guys someday. But there's, there's a reason that keeps you in the sky and keeps you studying these storms. Absolutely. It comes back to the people. And I think the entire crew would agree with me on that. We're doing our job to keep the people on the ground safe and making sure we're giving them and the forecasters at the National Hurricane Center, uh, local weather offices, all the best information. so They can go ahead and let the emergency managers and local officials make those decisions they need to make to keep the people safe. So it's ultimately for the people. That's why we're out here doing what we do. Nikki, is this a storm that you are going to put on your top five list of flying through? Has there been a storm like this before that you've been on the crew for? You know, definitely. Um, I'm pretty young in my career. I've only been doing this for about two years now. So this is my first uh, Cat 4 hurricane uh, that we were, we were flying through. So for me, this is definitely going to be one of those ones I won't forget. Anything else you want to share with us, Nikki? I mean, you're our eyes and ears with your team out there. And I know there's a lot of young girls, especially, that are watching you right now, thinking about maybe pursuing this as a career path down the road. Of course, uh, you know, I, I hope everybody, girls, boys, anyone, um, that they, they continue to do their dream. I know I'm living mine. Um, if you would have told third grade Nikki that she would be flying into a hurricane one day as she was tracking the hurricanes on her little uh, paper map in her classroom, uh, she probably would have never believed you. But uh, keep on living the dream, and we hope that everybody in harm's way of this storm stays safe, um, and our, our thoughts are going out to those guys. Well, we really appreciate you. Nikki Hathaway, the NOAA flight director that's been with the Hurricane Hunters out there studying Hurricane Ida. Thank you so much.